Hello, it's Tamara Hunter, and this is our official day number 191 of 365 Days of Awesome. Celebrate success through service, and we have our service hero. You know what? It is actually, I have been teasing you guys a little bit with it, because you've been getting to know Dr. Sony Jackson through some of the seminar today that we've been doing. I did a little bit of an interview. I wanted you guys to get a little flavor for one of the executive trainers directors that I'm working with but let me tell you the lowdown of why she is our service hero today I had an thank you for that <laughs> she just tagged herself there I had an opportunity to have lunch with her and some of her friends today and she was sharing a story that I thought oh this is it this is it you actually, Dr. Sony Jackson, worked at a, a junior college, like a community college, right? Mm -hmm. In your, where you were living. And she was younger and she was doing some grants for them and everything. And she was kind of being fast tracked and worked directly with the, the president of that college. And that, then that president, it, president left, right? Is she retired. Yes. She retired. And there was an opportunity, possibly, there was an open chair. And you were how old at the time? 30. She was 30. Okay. She was young for a president of a college. So you know what this, this amazing Sony did? She actually jumped out of the, the college environment, the nonprofit environment, so that she could gain some experience and went into the public world. And you know, that was that was quite a move. And you know, to me that was a service hero move because do you understand everybody that a role of a college president in a nonprofit is actually like a fundraiser, right? That's exactly it. So that's why I want to, I know it's a little lengthy, that's why I wanted to spend the time letting you guys know because that's a character move in my book and that's a service hero. So I want to say thank you for that. And she's just absolutely fun. Okay, so now let's talk. <laughs> okay, we're going to talk turkey. You are going to talk some turkey. I want you guys to get to know this amazing woman. You actually live in Florida, right? I do. And you actually Actually, not only are you a PhD and kind of, if you will, a brainy act doing all the funnel stuff and technical I'm a marketing stuff, nerd. A marketing <laughs> nerd, but you're not just a nerd because you also sing, right? You're a performer. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so, and you're into art. Yes. So you have all these different aspects to you, don't you? I do. You know, I was really blessed with amazing parents. My dad was an army colonel, and then he was a vice president at the community college, where I ended up working after he retired. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> no nepotism. See? Well, there's there. a little, you know, yeah. I worked my way through college there. I was an accounting clerk, so although I have a degree in fine arts, art studio, painting and photography. That's your bachelor's. Then that's you're my bachelor's. Master's is in business because dad said, well, until you figure out what you want to be when you grow up, why don't you take a couple of business classes? Suddenly... MBA. <laughs> and then you didn't just stop there, did I, you? I kind of paused there. I worked a little bit, and then I applied for a job as the grants writer at the college, and luckily I had known this community college president since I was 14. Wow. And she was the first woman community college president and really a role model because I never knew there was a glass ceiling for women. And I think that's really key, like right. being surrounded by really supportive people. But back to my parents because my dad was the CPA. You know, he's an accountant. He was in finance. My mom's an artsy um childhood education she's so right brain and my dad is so left brain <laughs> that they use me as a translator quite often and that makes total sense it does you know and so being able to speak mom and dad really benefited me in life <laughs> i love that speak mom and dad and so then you became a phd yes so my mentor said well if you want to go somewhere in life then you're going to have to have the doctor if you want to go somewhere in education you have to have a doctorate. And because I didn't work directly with students, she created the opportunity. As a true mentor does, they create opportunities for you. So I really had a great That's time. key, guys. That is right there a nugget. She didn't just tell me what to do. She introduced me. She introduced me as a GSE. Um, that's a group study exchange for Rotary. 
So that was my introduction into Rotary. And then she kind of paid, then she invited me in because you kind of have to be invited. So that's how I got that in the community. Then because I didn't work directly with students, I, I only worked with professors and, and the rest of the staff to plan that she allowed me to work flex time so that I could get the courses I needed to get my doctorate. That's, you know, we, I hope you guys are seeing something here, because a lot of the people that watch this show are involved in mentorship, in coaching, and such things, and what Sony is sharing right now is a true example of a true mentor, someone that helps, you know, yes, you can be paid as a coach, as a mentor, but what is it that it really means, and a lot of times, I don't know that it's truly explained. And right here, that is a really great model. And and so keep continue. Okay. So this is getting good. Okay. So then you she so, retired. So she retired and because I worked directly for her and she had a true vision of what she wanted the community college to be. In Florida, we're all articulated, at least at that time, 28 community colleges, seven universities. If you got an associate in arts, you were automatically accepted into one of the state universities. All your credits accepted. Maybe not in the major you wanted, but all your credits are accepted. That's a big head start. That is, that's huge. That's and that's huge. a huge mission because the community college is about serving, and you can tell I'm passionate about community oh, colleges. Oh yeah, I love it's about it. serving your community because economically, that's where the education comes. So we had a huge associate in science. Okay, we had to move because we've been having problems with our signal all day. Okay, so. Okay, so to me, that was really important. We're serving the community. And that was her big passion. And she said, well, you have to be known. She was retiring, and the new guy who came in came from he had been a professor and a politician, but he, a professor in a private college does something different. Right. They're okay. kind of, they don't, they're not a fundraiser and they're not out in the community asking people to give, always, and asking people what they need in the community, what kind of students, what kind of graduates do you need to make your business successful? That's what she does. And that's kind of what we do here with the Speaker's Pathway. Right, right. In fact, okay, so I want to, I want to really, if you will, anchor that that a community college is a nonprofit 501c3. So many people don't understand the nonprofit piece of a community college. They understand that it's a two year school, they understand it's easier to get in, but the fact that it is a nonprofit, I think that's huge. Okay, so you, let's fast forward. So, you, and that, of course, is what we do here at the Speakers Pathway Coalition when it comes to the mentoring mm -hmm. and, and helping to create a path, pathway, wink, wink, you know, <laughs> towards, towards what it is that the goal is. So, you decided to to expand upon your knowledge and leave what you love and you see the passion. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I did try and get other jobs uh, around after this president came in and I just, I talked to my mentor. I said, I don't know what to do. I don't, I feel like I'm stuck. And she said, you need to step out. I was 30, I'd finished my doctorate and there really were at that time no community colleges presidents, male or female, under 45. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And so that was a few years ago. In 2000. Uh, it was, just, it like, it was in 2000. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, yeah, I do the math. Thanks. <laughs> You're um, still a baby. <laughs> so she said, you know what you really need to do is step out, get really involved in the community, run a company successfully, and be part of the community and give back so that they can see. Because the other piece of the community college is it is not just a sink sinking hole. You have to help your community. You have to help them make money. You have to be, it's a nonprofit, but it is still has to pay for itself. It has, that's another piece that a lot of people don't understand. A nonprofit is still a company. It is still a corporation. It has to be ran like one if you want it to be sustainable. So thank you for that. Okay. Yeah. So then you so went out there. So then I went out there. My husband at the time was just growing his business and he had a marketing company. And so he has great vision. He was not great implementation. <laughs> so we paired up and we said, okay, let's do this. I'm going to run your company. And that's what we did. And we just had this great time learning how to help people. At that time, we really focused on real estate and helping realtors make money, get listings, find buyers, and we had money-making websites. I mean, I what it. and get referrals. That's what realtors need, right? Right. So I kind of learned under his tutelage because he was laser-focused on marketing and studied with all the best, and he's kind of a cool dude anyway. Um, <laughs> there you <laughs> he go. really is. If you go to ilovemarketing.com, he's the Dean Jackson, and there's Joe Polish. Two really got, if you're interested in marketing at all, 
follow this podcast. Amazing free content always. Oh, good. So I'm giving them a plug because I just adore them both. And, you know, this is what the Service Heroes program is all about, you know. This is why Sony is today's Service Hero, because think about what she's done. She's done the example of what the community college is all about and the giving. And, and now even the education of it. She went out and she was educating herself in the public world and so that she could go back possibly and serve the community college in a leadership role. She's sharing with us what a mentor mentor is all about and she's a lot of fun wink wink <laughs> now okay now and then we're uh, not roommates yeah no. <laughs> yeah that's a whole nother story we'll tell about tell you guys later no we're not okay <laughs> no, we <won't. laughs> Okay, there you go. No, we won't. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. And we, you know, that's an, that's another thing about a group, a coalition that you like the people. You know, get involved with things that you can get along and you can laugh because laughter is the best medicine. Laughter is what it's all about in the end. You don't want to be giving that up. Right. So, all right. So I have a couple more things. Can yes. I, yeah. Can absolutely. I? One is. Being an entrepreneur, I get to work for myself. <laughs> yes. But I made a very conscious choice only to work with people I like and whose mission is furthering the mission of the world. I love it. Who are having impact, like Tamara. I just adore this woman because she has such a passion and, and she's working for the good and for the betterment of the world. And if I can't help you get your message out there, I don't, I don't, or if I, I don't want to help somebody whose message I don't believe in. Right, so that's right. a big thing. Right. I love your message. I want to help you, you get it out there Thank in you. the world and Thank so you. that we can have a better world. Exactly. Exactly. Can you, what a service <laughs> hero. You know, I just want to say thank you. Thank you, and then I just adore this woman, and you know, I just adore this program that we are involved in, and and again, if there's anybody that's watching that's uh, anywhere close to Colorado Springs, and if you're interested in being at the summit on Saturday and Sunday at the Pathway for Vets, we want you there. It's going to be so incredible. We met some of the speakers that are coming, and I... I can't even tell you. I'm like pinching myself because myself because I know the kind of value that this is going to be for so many people that need it. And so, you know, thank you, uh, Don McGrath and Jim Grant, for putting it together. And and I want to say, you know, what fun this woman is, and that I am so excited that we were able to share day number 191. <laughs> Of 362. Oh, 192. Isn't it? That's 192. Nine, no, oh. oh, did you like 192 better? That's okay. Oh. I'll take one. Okay. <laughs> Day number. Well, okay, here, how about this? One and one and nine. One and one sure. makes two. So there you go. <laughs> That's okay. that new math. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. And we'll just leave the nine because nine's my favorite number. Oh. So there we go. I'm splitting out the two ones. And so yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. All right. But <laughs> Dimple, is that her name? That's awesome. Dimple. Yeah, Dimple is one of our, our chemo buddies for life. Awesome. Yes, just absolutely. And Brandon. Hey, yes, Brandon. Yes, Brandon. And, we, and Tommy. Tommy. And Tommy Lee. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? And That's I awesome. know that so many are going to be watching it in replay, too. Please put live. Uh, hashtag live hashtag replay and you know I know I've been going live a lot today I will over the next three days too and come and visit the different lives because there's so much value in these different ones but I want to say thank you for being day number 191 of 365 days of awesome celebrate success through service Dr. Sony Jackson you are a stellar superstar in my book you are an example of what is best in in the, the community college system, in the giving of, of helping to um, encourage education for our community and getting out into a community to see what is really needed to help that community grow. You also then decided to invest in yourself so that you could show.